All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. This is going to be. Um, this is not a review. So, I uploaded the Bleach review. Guys, go take a look at that. This is going to be because there's no One Piece, which was yesterday. I've decided to do a discussion video here. Now, the name of this video is going to be called Topic Discussion Revenge and Thoughts on the Game of Thrones world. GOT world. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure everyone saw anyone who has been caught. Oh, by the way, if you are not caught up with Game of Thrones, you shouldn't be watching this video. But before we get into the Game of Thrones world, I want to talk about that word. Revenge. Now, <clears throat> revenge is kind of funny in general terms of, of different um, forms of different forms. Anime, manga, movies, books, TV shows. Now, here's a good example. I mean, you could take, for example, Naruto. Sasuke. Yeah, everyone pretty much knows the whole story with Sasuke. You know, you know went after Itachi, wanted revenge, he was an Avenger, so on and so forth. He almost went to the dark side. Star Wars, you have Anakin Skywalker, who we saw what happened to him. He went into the dark side. Hatred um, and anger. That's what turned him into the dark side. Now, what I'm getting at with this, this whole revenge thing, I mean, the whole term of revenge, henceforth, from the saying, revenge is a dish best served cold. Meaning you have to be cruel enough to take revenge. Now, this is all going battling down to the Game of Thrones episode. Now, Oberon. Oberon Martell. He fought the mountain in episode 8. This past, this, this past, this Sunday that just passed a while ago. And... He was focused on that revenge. Now, sometimes when you're, you're focused on the revenge, you lose sight of everything else. You know, but sometimes, you know, like, because revenge is funny that way. You know, there's always that, that saying that, you know, once you get revenge, what then? Like, what's after that? You don't know. But in this sense, it wasn't that. It was that his revenge went over his head. He was too focused on it. He was too focused on the revenge. He was too focused on proving that the mountain was responsible for his sister's death, for um, the death of, of her children. You know, he was too focused on that. And what ended on happening? Well, anyone who saw the episode is how it happened. But this is shown in other series as well. Where, you know, like, uh, what's another good example? Oh, pfft. even though it's, I don't know comic books very well, and I probably didn't go down like this. Um, Batman, what movie was it? Batman Forever? Robin. He wanted revenge on Two-Face for, you know, and then, Bat and then Bruce Wayne's like, yeah, what then then? Batman's like, what then? After that, what then? You know, it's that whole proverb. Like, revenge clouds your mind. It makes you do something. It makes you go in a different path. But it can also distract you. And that's what ended up happening. And, and, you know, Game of Thrones is a dark show. Far be me to, you know, judge. But th 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 that's the way it is. And it's, it's shown throughout every kind of form. And the whole revenge idea, I don't think, it gets, sometimes it gets tiring, but it, it is the way it is. But 
See, the point I'm trying to make here is be careful with that, with taking revenge. Because eventually what ends on happening is revenge really... I understand he felt, in, in, in that episode, Obram felt that he wanted for the sake of his sister, his family, all that jazz. But sometimes it's best to just just get over with it. Just get over with it. Just let it be and just do what you have to do. And that p single part, he should have just killed the mountain. So, yeah, I just wanted to briefly talk about this. Because revenge is, is sometimes, it, it fucks people up. It really does. It, it fucks individuals up. Um, makes them do things that, and makes them take sides that, you know, frankly... Um, it ruins them. Essentially, that's what it does. I mean, sometimes the character can go back. They, 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 they can um, redeem themselves. Like Sasuke, kind of. But sometimes it, it goes too far. It goes too far, and they just they lose sight of everything, and they are completely evil now, and. It's turned them into, into, you know, what have you. Now, the other part of this discussion video that I want to talk about is the Game of Thrones world. Now, I saw Larry's review. Here's what I want to say. People who are subscribed to me know, or people around the community know, I read a good amount of manga. The thing about the world of Game of Thrones is... Let's be perfectly honest. It's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And... You know, the thing... Is this. I read a lot of series... Where characters... Get killed off. And was I pissed about Obram? Oh, you bet I was fucking pissed. But... It's not... Out of everything that happened this season in Game of Thrones, it's not something that would come to me and make me say, oh, I'm done with the series. No. And it's not something that would make me hate the series. However, there is one thing I do want to address about the world. I can't honestly agree with this notion that the Lannisters aren't going to get their just dues. No. But I, but I, I, I mean, this is a fucked up world, and, and that's the way it is. I mean, you know, anyone who's seen season one, two, three, four knows. Hey, this is the way the world is. But I will say this. I mean, that episode kind of pissed me off. I'm still, like, really reeling over it. Um. I'm used to it. The whole killing off characters. I read... A Kamigakiru. Attack on Titan. I'm watching these Knights of Sidonia anime. Those series kills off characters just... Uh, close enough easily as Game of Thrones does. So... Now, I'm going to go into... The, I'm not going to talk too much about this. I'm going to go into it fully tomorrow night in the small council with Larry and Taku Semple. But... And the whole premise of revenge and hatred in the show and the whole premise... Because there are a lot of... It's, it, it's, a, it's a big world, Game of Thrones, in the series. It's, it's really vast. And there are different facets to the story and listen this is this is how things were in that sort of time period this is how things are in that sort of time period now some people are obviously gonna say "Ooh, you know it's 
Mmm, I fucking don't like it. And that's understandable. Not everyone is going to like the world of Game of Thrones. It's, it, it's just a known fact. I just, I just um, you know? Now, but I will say this. George R. R. Martin, uh, t uh, you better keep Tyrion. I'm dead serious, by the way. You better keep, and, and even though you know, you know, uh, Tyrion, because mm. I swear to God, man, I will go to George R. R. Martin and say, "Yeah, you killed Tyrion, but I kill you." No, <laughs> but it's just, it's just, it's one of those things where. I mean, I saw reaction videos, and this, I just want to bring this up also. The reaction videos of different people, you know, of the whole, and like I said, I said in the beginning of the video, if you haven't caught up to Game of Thrones, don't watch the video. Um, about the Red Wedding, and 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 people were just livid. Um, I was livid too. But I, 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 my, my allegiances in, in, as far as characters in this show are Tyrion probably, and to some extent maybe Jon Snow. But, I mean, this is the way it is. This is the Game of Thrones world. It's, it's barbaric. It's cruel. My, my father was sitting down watching it and he's like, he's like, there's no law in this show. There's no law. You can do whatever the fuck you want. There's no order. See? So, it, it's, like I said, I'm going to go into details on this. And the whole revenge idea, I felt like Obram, he should have, if he was going to win that fight, he shouldn't have been so, so focused on getting a confession. And not on, because see, he should have been more focused on your your a man's life is on is in your hands. That should have been his number one goal, not revenge. But you know, it's understandable. I mean, you know, but you know that's that's all my take on it. And like I said, you guys go watch it. Small council this Friday tomorrow night. Um, I believe it's gonna be. Uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, my time. Um, you guys go watch it on Larry's channel. I'll be there. Anime Rick will be there. SMX Wing will be there. I don't know if it's going to be other people. Who knows? Maybe Uber Card will be there. I don't know. But I overall feel I will continue watching Game of Thrones because I feel like it's still a good series. It is still a good series in my eyes. But that episode obviously pissed me the fuck off. Because I was like... It was more... To the point... That... I'm like... Oh, you motherfucker. Now, Tyrion's fucked! That, that was my reaction. I mean, I was upset that he... That Oprah died of... You know, I guess I thought it was... That he died. But, more to the point... Like, what the fuck's up with Tyrion? For, for Tyrion now? Well, like I said, I haven't read the books yet. I have the books. I haven't read the books yet, so obviously something's going to happen. But I don't want... And I can understand how some people feel with certain characters. And then their character's gone. You're like... Ugh. You invest in the series. And in that character you like so much, is just taken away from you. It's like... But... Yeah, like I said, I'll discuss this in the small council. And to be honest with everyone here, revenge, I don't think it's... Ah. I, I'm not, I want to say it's overrated to this point because... But some people have value it because of the fact that if someone kills someone close to you and you know the person and you know they did it, you know, it's along those lines of, would you go ahead and spence justice? 
And I think Obram, to be honest, I think I think he should have. He should have killed the mountain. He should not have made him confess. Because he knew. Prior to the episode, he knew. So. But that's just my thoughts on it. Tell me what you guys think about this little discussion video I just did. Um, like I said, I'll be in the small council later tomorrow night with Larry, with Rick, with SMX Wing. SMX Wing. You motherfucker. <laughs> I have to go there. My Rangers lost. I have to. I have to uh, express some anger to the otter. So yeah, that's the story there. I'm Bonka Nine Twenty Two. I'll see you guys later. Um, nothing else to add. Um, usual reviews will be coming out. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then, like I said, Small Council on Friday. Only two more episodes left in Game of Thrones, so um, I should, this should be very interesting. Oh, by the way, this Sunday, you guys, are, I'm going to be doing an extra video. After Penny Dreadful's over, I'm going to do my first impressions on the show on my other channel. I will post, I will post, after Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones is over, the live stream, I will post the description, in the description, that new channel. So look forward to that. I'm Bach on I-22. See you guys later. Revenge. It's not... Some people take it to heart. I think... You should think before taking revenge. That's all. I'll see you guys later. Peace.